Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman here on this Thursday, April the 7th, and uh, a lot to talk about. Let's just go through these things one at a time. You've got the Dow pulling back, almost have to give it a down arrow for the daily chart. <clears throat> Had a peak D underneath the previous major high of 35,824. That's usually a sign to say that uh, full strength is not there to be able to continue to help the weekly chart and store that the weekly charts inside track repellent zone. <clears throat> so uh, considering what's happened, 35,372 to the low right now, 34,469, about a thousand points off the high that was made is not such a big deal when you think we've come from the 32,272 lower uh, February the 24th all the way to 35,372 uh, for us uh, for subscribers to my opening call uh, we got long on the 15th pre-market and ran it up from just under 33,000 taking two little bits off I don't know yet whether I want to get out I don't even know if I want to switch to the DOG which is or the DXD one or two times short because think about this all the stuff that's happened even with the Fed yesterday to think that we've just pulled back under the 200 period moving average so far all i can say is that yes there was a strong move to the upside not not great but really good um and what happens this week to it to, tomorrow's close friday at four o'clock of the weekly chart that's going to be very important i don't see what's there to actually help that weekly chart have a screamer to the upside to get to the 34,000. Uh, 450 area but that's kind of the area that in the next week or so we need to pierce <clears throat> decisively to the upside because if there is a, a close under 34,000 uh, we're in another uh, I call it a congestion area a digestive phase and that just says let's look at the individual stocks so you'll see the difference look at the S&P and I'll be talking about all these different things the implications for monthly charts looking out at 2022 to see whether or not we can make all-time highs um, in, in, in this year <clears throat> most important thing is this within the context of the monthly charts on Wednesday of last week they were looking fantastic a beautiful comeback and then of course that massive turn down and we've been digesting since then and that's changed the monthly chart to say it looks considering war inflation <clears throat> I, I mean just you can go on and on and on uh, with the negatives this is amazing that the S&P up until this very minute that we're talking about which is at 10.09 a.m. Eastern Time on the 7th of April has held so far pretty darn well but this is so interesting let me mix this up a little bit look syntax this is overalls uniforms rentals it looks almost like the s p it made a peak b at an all-time high just like the s p and the chapman wave methodology very unusual for i mean when i say unusual i'm talking about really unusual even there with ipos for a major failure at a peak b or that at least getting to a C or a D. Um, and that just says that Syntas, when you put it together with uh, something like, let's go to, say, a Walmart trading right now at an all-time high. Walmart, all-time high. I mean, basically in retail, you'd have, um, or, or at least in the, in the area of consumer buying and purchasing of just basic things walmart yes it is it means that maybe you can get prices a, a cheaper but still to be at an all-time high to have costco i mean this is telling you a story right at an all-time high at the same time you've got johnson and johnson at an all-time high yesterday at least um this is a very uh, diverse market and because of that 
the rotation that allows enough stocks in the key indices to at least give some support instead of breaking down means that there's a chance. And this is what I'm going to talk about a week uh, coming up this uh, Wednesday for subscribers to my opening call. You can become a subscriber. And I do advise you to, to do this a little earlier so that you don't rush on the, on the same day because we're going to be going to Discord, which is a fabulous medium for just this type of thing. And most importantly, when you get there, you'll be looking at uh, the webinar, which will be archived. You can look at it as many times as you want. I've got many, many more, uh, you know, eight, nine, ten, uh, sitting there waiting for you if you want to go through some of the Chapman Wave techniques, or well, almost all the Chapman Wave techniques. But most importantly, what I want to be discussing is what are the implications if there is a, I'll never forget, back in 1980 somewhere where I had a cell signal on the Dow and everything was just perfect for a cell signal and yet the Dow just couldn't go down it couldn't go down because there was once a, I, I might be wrong I think it was general foods or something was being taken over and, and because of the waiting in the Dow this stock propped up while the other indices were pulling back this stock propped up the Dow so that the time I got a buy signal, you basically went side almost like 1994. I don't know if any of you remember that, where the market basically, the news was just terrible, terrible, terrible. And yet the market went sideways and it made a cup formation, a bowl actually, a, a rounded bowl formation going from the left side to the low in a very slow process and then to the right and then broke out to the upside in 1995. So I'm saying this because if we get this rotation, and uh, let me just double check. I should know these by heart by now. Yep, Johnson & Johnson, of course, is in the, I shouldn't say, of course, it is in the Dow. So when you get that, even though the Dow is down 211, that's because some of the big caps are taking a, a bit of a beating. And I, I was asked about Home Depot. That is in the Dow. Before I go on with the, in, with the analysis of the indices, let me just say, Home Depot, this is a story that you cannot ignore. Home Depot building materials, uh, you know, appliances, home, electric, anything you want. Um, I'm just about to put a down arrow for the monthly chart. It means it's gone from a sell signal to a sell mode. I don't think you can get a major, major move to the upside. I'm talking about not just breaking to a new high, but I mean I'm going decisively above. Until Home Depot has completed its, its uh, digestive phase, digestive, well, wow. I'm saying from 140 to 420, up to three and a half fold, three three hundred and what thirty percent. This is this is amazing. Um, so what we're looking at is this this pattern. What I call it's almost like the monthly chart is an Eiffel Tower, straight up, straight down pattern. Um, that's suggesting that if if Home Depot in the next uh, throughout April, going to the first week of May, if it breaks decisively below, uh, I'm going to give it just a little bit of room here. Uh, that's at 295. If it takes out on a weekly basis, 295. So it's testing the left side low. It's broken the left side low of June 20, uh, June 18th, 2021. Yeah, if it does that, the next step is a real slide down to the low of March of 2021 to the 246 area. Wow, that's 50 points from here. All right. It just it, it has to start holding it has some, some support i'll talk more about it when we get back but look at bldr which is a builder yep there it is pulling back sharply as well i'll be back. are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio tom o'brien is here to help tom o'brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years a frequent contributor to td ameritrade network and cnbc Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. I just wanted to show you something. Yeah, I've got this rule about a long sideways rectangle formation that can last a lot longer than your patience. This is not that narrow, but when you look at it historically, meaning even though it's a 10-minute chart, historically means going back yeah, to yesterday. Look at this. You've been in this trading range from the 2 o'clock yesterday um, afternoon before the close where there was a sudden, oh, that was, oh, remember that was with the Fed. Sudden spike to the upside at 2.10 yesterday afternoon to 44.95.25 in the E-mini and then a sudden plunge and then it stops dead. And it, it, it outlines, and this is what I'm going to be teaching when I, I do my webinar on uh, Wednesday. How do you get these lines? They, uh, some people don't have rectangle formations that you can use in your, uh, in your platform, in your trading platform. But you can use a single line. I could use a single line to the top and a single line to the bottom. I could even make the Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. They would have worked perfectly at that peak E. So look at this. We've got the sideways move that's gone from the 4, 44, let's call it 44.55 area, to uh, sporadic highs at the 44, uh, 44.95, 96 area. And we're stuck in the range. And we've just made a little mini peak A and a peak B in the 10-minute chart, uh, but basically stuck. And now what is the, uh, the other technical tools I'll be, I'll be using? Look at the 200p moving average, this orange line. Did you even need it there? You didn't even have to see it. You had to just worry about the 9 the 14 crossing over positive and negative. And then what happened? It goes green, nice buy to a peak D, and then a perfect rogue wave that suddenly spikes in one move above the previous high, and that bar still closes down, and the next moment you're trading exactly you were before where, right hugging the 200 period moving areas. Then you pull back, and three times now you've tried to break above it and you failed. So um, these are just such easy techniques that I'll be showing you how you can use them, what they mean, what are the implications, and look at this. If you go to uh, the, the one-minute chart, Think of this like a daily and this is, say, a monthly with a weekly, maybe the five-minute chart. Look, you had the double top, but the MACD was weak. The stochastic popped over 80% just for a brief moment. I usually say three to four bars above 80% and then breaking down. Watch out because you're coming down. And the unbalanced volume popped and right perfectly gave a sell signal right there. And now we've been in this consolidation, making a lower low. So the whole digestive phase is just continuing. All right, that's that. Now what I want you to do is go back 
to some of the questions. So the question was, Lowe's is a better experience. Yeah, I'm hearing that from a lot of people. Lowe's, as, as a uh, consumer experience, a lot, I haven't been to Lowe's for quite a while, but a lot of people um, have told me that rather than go to Home Depot, they really enjoy going, to, they actually enjoy going to Lowe's. For me, it's just a, it's a business operation. If I'm going to Home Depot, I know exactly what I want. I can't get it at my local hardware store. I always try to go to the hardware store first. They just have a better variety at Home Depot and they have lousy service. Uh, and I've, I don't know, maybe this is my experience coming from South Africa, you know, British Commonwealth uh, once, once upon a time. So politeness was kind of the de rigueur. Um, and I can never understand. You're in the store and you ask one of the assistants, where is the whatever it is? All they have to do, rather than say, I'll six uh, on the left, take 20 steps, take the person right there, point to exactly what they want and say, is that what you're looking for? Pleasure. I mean, it's so simple. Why don't managers ever tell their assistants, take the party to their goods? I mean, it's so easy. That's all they have to do. So, anyway, got that out of the way. Okay. <laughs> Next thing is, so Lowe's and Home Depot look the same right now. And it's really important. Remember, I'm talking about CTA assets, overalls and uniforms, and that's a commitment on um, the owners of businesses to, to you know, you, you lease or whatever you do, you rent, whatever you're doing, it's a commitment. Um, and that's a little bit different to the, when you can move very quickly uh, in some areas. So I like to look at that and say, that's a good sign. But then when I look at the Home Depot, I would say, wow, that means if I'm putting together, look, BLDR is the chart we were going to look at a moment ago. This is the perfect Chapman wave. Um, this is the rectangle arch formation. This is watch out because you can go one to one to the downside. This is Builders First Source Inc. Housing. That's what they, you know, they have. Um, that's what, and the t double tops. How many times? In fact, I, uh, I've already gone off track. How many? Not ten or twenty, but almost. I'm sure about a hundred times over the past year and a half, much more. I've shown you double tops that were just perfect for a reversal. Seventy-eight forty-nine on the third of March. BLDR goes to seventy-eight point forty-nine. Pulls back sharply to sixty-sevens. And then goes back in a cup formation or a V-shaped formation, where? To 78.60. Peak E, double top. What we were looking at yesterday, that I said just a perfect double top and double bottom. Oh, you know, I do so many of these things that uh, are right off the top of my head. I can't remember which one it was. I'm looking, I'm looking. All right, I can't see it. But in the meantime, back at the ranch was, um, I wanted to just talk about some of the uh, some of the stocks in the um, in the this is DuPont, so this is chemicals. So it makes a peak E top back in 2017 or 18 at about 110, makes the dreaded H pattern <clears throat> and plunges down to 30, about <clears throat> just under 30, March of 2020. Then it screams back up and it goes in the monthly chart. That's the monthly chart. It goes to peak C1, C2, C3. Look at this a beautiful trend line. Chapman wave inside track right there. Repellent zone. And it gets taken down. So it's struggling. So this is in the chemical area. And we've had a couple of chemicals. I mean, I've liked CC. We haven't got it. I wanted to wait. And there's that peak D, another peak D. This is... The Shamur's company uh, manufacture materials like Teflon. They, you know, part of it is I wouldn't say just pure chemicals, but fluoroelastomers, um, uh, lubricants. Uh, you know, this is really important. Teflon, and this has gone to the resistance area after its peak D, the fourth highest peak in the Chapman Wave methodology, 58.08, uh, October of 2017. These are the stocks that are going to be really important to monitor because when they start to get back, and if they get back into a bull phase, that's going to be really important because that's what you want to see. You want to see a broadening of the economy. If you're looking at the SLX, which is the steel stocks, maybe peak F top, um, a little double top as well. Look at this. Uh, you, uh, this is SLX. This is the market vectors ETF, steel ETF. 6980 on the 25th of March, and a, a triple top at 
6950, 6950, 69.55, 69.56, and 69.60, and now it's starting to pull back. I am watching this very closely. Only a peak C in the monthly at an all-time, a weekly at an all-time high, and a leg C in the monthly. Um, so that's steel. Why did steel do so well? If this is part of the cyclical area of the economy this is late cyclicals maybe that's the story that they catch up late because money the big money can you imagine building a steel company whatever it is um and this is needs huge money so it takes a while to get everything they wait for the economy to be working and well and all that and finally they put the money to work and very often the late cyclicals they call them late because they are late to the game i'm watching all of these very closely but in fact what fantastic trades look at this u.s steel uh, not a bad run from the end of February at 22 to the most recent peak E high at about 39. I'll be back in a moment. Bowser Chapman, Tiger Division South. We'll go through all the different areas again when we get back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money back back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. I, I, I wanted to go in sequence of all the questions that I got asked. I'll do that in a moment, but just one that popped up right now because I wanted to see what it does. Uh, and the question is, uh, Basil, how would you handle BIP? If you have a position, thanks. So BIP is Brookfield Infrastructure Partners. In, this is infrastructure of utilities, transportation, energy, communications. I love the stock. It's gone from the 26th area back in March of 2020 at the low to the high just the other day in the 68, 69 area. And it's now pulling back. All I can do is say, first of all, congratulations in having this is exactly the area that has been working. 
I don't want you to mess around at all, but I think because you asked the question, I'm going to say just because of money management, the way that it's acting right now, I can see maybe a five to 10 day consolidation, and then we'll see whether it's able to get back if it holds 64, it's at 66, 16 right now. So I'm just going to take a little bit off, but I'm not going to say get out of it. I'm going to say take a little bit off, and that very amount that you take off, be prepared to put it back maybe three points slower. Let's look at it again. I love the action. It is it is a little bit overbought in the uh, in the daily, but the weekly chart, um, MACD is good. Stochastics at 89. Uh, the monthly chart is Cassics at 84. I love this. So I just wanted to get you it right away. And uh, so Brookville BIP trading at 66.15, down 61 cents. Now, a couple of things I wanted to look at here. So a question came up, and I'm going to do this right now, about uh, someone who's just joined the Dan, which was speaking about being in the uh, cryptocurrency area for a long time. Uh, what Does anyone here trade it? Well, we have we had a fantastic position in the 12... Uh, 12s in the Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin Trust at 12.80 uh, or something like that, and then 12, no, 12 and 40, yeah, 12 and 80, 12 and 40, and we ran it up, had huge profits, and I've said all the time, just let's keep a little bit left over, and one of the reasons is. I think that Bitcoin is in a big digestive phase. I wouldn't be surprised if it can last a little longer and that somewhere in this summer, I think it's this summer and I think it's going to be the earlier part of the summer, Bitcoin suddenly sees a lot of activity. It's in this range and I, I'm going to be talking about this on my webinar. How can you look at something and say, looking out, for instance, I've had people wanting to buy or have already but want to know more about stocks like a valet. Vale, V A L E, um, just a lot in that area, C L F, Cleveland Cliffs, etc. And I looking out, I'm gonna be looking at these stocks and saying, looking out, these are the things I'd be looking for to see if they start a brand new buy mode. Well, Bitcoin, you can see the rectangle formation between the forty eight thousand and the thirty two thousand. It's just been there since um, the beginning of the year. All right, you can even go back to December. And I think that's going to stay. Uh, a price point that stays within a rectangle formation and turns into a narrow rect uh, uh, rectangular formation can last a lot longer than your patience. So shorter, shorter term trades, absolutely. 200 period moving average of 45, 150. It's like a magnet now. It went right to it. It couldn't break out. Then it gapped up over it in the daily chart, Bitcoin futures, and then it comes back. So this area of 45,000 is going to be like a magnet, up and down and up and down. If you look at um, Ethereum, it's exactly the same thing. ETHE, -E, it's in this range, it's making the arch formation, it's making the second formation. That went to a peak D, it went to a peak E in the last one, it's digesting the gains. The 200 period moving average has been like a magnet and now it's being a repellent made a peak E in the monthly chart of that crazy, I mean, most of you will remember, Ethereum opens uh, back in June of 2019, opens at 33.33, this is the monthly chart. Um, it has a little bit of a rally to 67.78, it doubles that same month. Oh, whoops, it also had a low of $8.89. And then it starts a brand new buy mode in the monthly chart and finally goes peak A, peak B, peak C. It doesn't remember in the Chapman methodology, it doesn't matter how strong the moves are up as long as it doesn't take out the left side low that started at the basic starting low point. Uh, it, it continues in the wave count, finally gets to a D, huge pullback to the 14 period moving average in, in one month. Uh, look at this, over three months, <laughs> that's a huge move. And then it has a spiral up to that last high. Uh, that was made back in, uh, this is Ethereum, uh, back in November of 2021 to 47.40. And since then, it's been down to the 18 or 19 area. What was that low? 
Right. So I am looking at this and I'm saying just for now, treat it more as short term trading. If, if Obviously, this is what you do because you've been as long as you've survived, you've been doing very nicely in, in this. Um, uh, Wani, I think it was the name of the questioner or statement. Uh, so I, I just keep that in mind. 27.41 for Ethereum is resistance. It made a peak E. It's gapped down. I think it has a little bit of a problem here. Now that takes me to gold. Gold is in this narrow rectangle formation, lowercase h that can go to a lowercase m pattern I'll talk about in the uh, in my webinar. And one of the things I'm going to be doing is saying, what are the de jure, what are the, the what are the patterns that I'm anticipating going to be the most um, prescient, the ones that really give you the formula for how to trade going into we're in April, going into May and June. That's really what I'm going to be looking at. And it is 2022. Are we going to see an all time high? And my 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 guess right now is yes. Um, but I'm just I need to build the veracity when I do my my webinar to show you all the reasons why and what would constitute a failure. Silver, silver right now is trading right on the 200. How important are these moving averages? They're absolutely not important whatsoever until you get close to them or you use them as a target area. So here we are, 24, 28 is the 200 period moving average support and silver is at the continuous contract is 2462 just going sideways this is one of those things where gold and silver at any point you could get a pullback but this is where the 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 upside spikes are going to be greater than the pullbacks i think so it'll stay in a range for a while looking at uh, high grade copper high grade copper is held very nicely it made a peak d underneath the previous high that's usually not a good sign that says doesn't mean to say you have to crash but it does say that uh, high grade copper continuous contract did exactly what we talk about in the very long term, uh, especially the weekly sideways rectangle formations makes a new high at a peak D and then it goes right back into the trading band. So it's holding extremely well. This is like synthesis. This is telling us about world economies, which should be slowing down. But high grade copper, they used to call it Dr. Copper. I think it's still as important as it used to be is holding up near the highs rather than at the lows of the channel, sideways channel, rectangle formation. So it is pulling back shorter term. Looking at crude oil, same thing, had a big spike up to the uh, recovery high. Now, why have been talking about these double tops? What do I mean by a double top? Well, if you go back to the crude oil chart, and this I'll be talking in greater detail in my, my webinar coming up on Wednesday, uh, look, Russia invades Georgia, August of 2000, and uh, that should have been 2012. 2000 and, no, I'm sorry, that was a dis, that was 2008. I don't know why I typed that in. And that, and we, we immediately started down from a peak D in July of 2008 down to the low of February of 2009. Huge. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Back. So I'm just talking about these uh, these double tops. So it goes to in the continuous contract. It goes to I've got 89.72. Let's just see. This is crude oil. Uh, that was what 89. No, I don't know where that came from. That should be 129. Oh, 129 um, uh, on this last move up. And where's all the resistance? All the way right here from 2011 to 2012, 2013 in the same area at about 100 and uh, let's call that 129, 130. So these double tops are really quite formidable. You've got to see how you break above it. That's going to be important now. Uh, Dan, I'm so oh, BCLI. Thank you. So I just want to go through the order. There, oh, so many questions came in. Let me do this. BCLI is BCLI is um, I don't know what it is. Whatever it is, it is called. What does it do? Brainstorm cell therapeutics okay it's in the biotech area i've called this a, a leg c to the upside today right at the 200 period moving average of three dollars and 63 cents i like this type of action it's really good weekly chart is improving it's not great monthly chart made the eiffel tower straight up straight down a b c d made a peak e in the chapter wave and then plop and spum all the way down again went to uh, almost 18 and now it's trading at 3.54. I like it. The support in the 3.43 to 3.35 area is really important to hold. I think it'll go just above the 200 period moving average. I wouldn't be surprised if it's real close to at least a digestive sideways phase. Um, uh, going to maybe, if it goes over 3.73 and holds there for two out of three sessions, that's really good action. And I, I am calling this a C. I could give an alternate count. Uh, a G slash C, but no, I, I think this is strong enough to say C. So stochastics only at 73 could still go to 80%. I like it very much as a small cap, and I know you study this very well, so that's what I'm looking at. So here are a couple of questions that I, I did. I write them down. CrowdStrike, C or W D. Yeah, CrowdStrike made a peak E at 232, um, and it's pulling back. It's one of the one of the better ones in the cybersecurity area. On the big next big, I'll be talking about this in my webinar coming up. Which stocks do we want to look at, or do we want to just get hack, which is the ETF for the uh, cyber area? It's acted very poorly when you think it should be leading the whole market. Everybody needs cybersecurity, so something's going on. So it's the very best of the best. I'll be talking about how do you get it. A lot of people say, look, even if we don't have it in my Traders Corner for my opening call subscribers. Could you talk about it so we can make decisions? So I will be talking about a lot of things that you can make your own decisions uh, on. So that's that, that's that, that's that. Um, so the, the next question I had was, yeah, so TBT. Um, uh, Paul says, clearly it's breaking out now if you, if you know how to read a chart. Well, I think I do know how to read a chart. I've done uh, maybe uh, I, I, just on a conservative 
a way of looking at. I've probably done more than 500,000 charts, uh, probably much more than that, and I've notated at least half of those. So the TBT, which is the inverse of the TLT, this is a Lehman 20-year Treasury bond ultra short bond fund, it's gone to a leg D right at the left side, right side price time match. It made it to a little bit earlier. 2260 was the left side high at a peak D back in 2021. And now look what's happened. It's gone to a high of 22.52. Uh, so this says it's, it's achieved everything that it needed to achieve. The TLT, which is the inverse, this is, the, this is where everything is uh, based on the TLT, which is the ICS 20 year Treasury bond fund, in the monthly chart is decisively broken in an arch formation, the dreaded H pattern. And that says there could be a move from the 155 high that was at Rogue Wave Peak A and the December, the week of the 3rd of December 2021, to the base of 133. So they could, over a period of, of weeks, there could be a move down equal to that. And that would take you. Well, the first test will be the Chapman Wave Inside Track. I'll be talking about how you can draw these, how easy they are. Look at the support level of this particular, uh, these two trend lines that I drew, a little mini channel um, some time ago. And look how close we got right to the green line uh, about two weeks ago at 128, uh, 127.65 on the 25th of March. Try to rally, stalled the pink nine period moving average could not go green it stayed pink which means it's still in a bear phase and lo and behold today's low is 125 um 79 and we're getting closer and closer so this whole area of 126 i'm sorry this whole area of 120 what is that i think it's 123 between 124.20 and 123.30 for bonds if that is taken out, then you've got yourself a one to one to the downside, and that would imply that the 20 point rally from there can go down to, now I don't even want to talk about it, it can go down quite a bit more. So we're looking at yields, and, and this is what I've been saying for a while. I don't know if I'm right or wrong because I'm not an economist, but my guess, my thinking here is that the bond market has already done a great deal of the Fed's work. It just has to be formal, formalized. In other words, they have to sign off and say, OK, we're going 50 bips. Well, 50 bips or whatever it is, you've already got that into the market. So that's really important. Now, I don't have my, I, I used to have a CRB index. And I don't know what happened. Trade station changed it. I can't get it anymore. It's such a shame. I'm sure there's one there somewhere, but I, I haven't been able to find it. But if you look at um, the different areas, Look at the, uh, we are still long. The, uh, this is right here, the DBA, which is the DB Agricultural Fund. And look, here's the pattern we've seen over and over again. A big spike, we're really in the 13s, it hit 2264, we've taken a little bit off, and it's making the lowercase h to a lowercase m. I'm going to spend a little time on these rectangle formations in my webinar because you want to learn how to use them and what to look for. Look. It made an arch formation, the dreaded H pattern. What's the dreaded H pattern? It's one of our patterns we look at all the time, uh, right here. I look at three basic patterns in the market, straight line up, straight line down. That's number one. Cup formation could be a V-shaped formation, number two. Or an arch formation or inverted V, that's number three. Or a mix, one and two. Uh, one and three in this case is the dreaded H, because if it takes out this left side low, it can go a lot deeper. And on the right side is the green reverse Y. If it takes that left side high, it can go a lot higher. Just keep it as simple as possible. And basically what we've got, you're stuck in a range. So the agriculture, if you go through all of them, look, wheat, that's wheat. I love to always say that. Wheat, that's wheat. There we go. W, uh, it, it made that huge move with the Chapman Wave Roman candle. I don't know if we're going to see many of those because we've already made highs and we'll have to wait to see these. But this Roman candle suggests that if you go halfway into the wick in a shorter time frame, you can not only test the low, you can break it. Boom, we did that. We made the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m, a second arch that looks like a lowercase m, and we broke down. So this says that we, and I, I, I'm going to talk about this uh, tomorrow in my, my, uh, in my Friday real technical side of the show, I want to talk about the fact that we might be seeing the grains, 
Did somebody just do something? Uh, let me just double check to see if we have a caller. No, we don't. Uh, I want to talk about the fact that the grains might have made the kind of top that says, you know what? They might not be coming back to those highs for quite a while to come. Oh, I just typed it in the wrong place. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, S&P, IYT, free, uh, this is another thing that I look at, the divergence between the positive and the negatives. Do you have the transports plunging? Uh, Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks, we're back. Let me just do this uh, quickly because, uh, first of all, Baba, which is Alibaba, I think it's, if it takes out, it's 103. If it takes out 100 support, it's going back down. I just be real careful. As I say, uh, looking at the long side of Chinese stocks, we have enough problems here. Why do I? Why would I even want to add something else? Now, Cleveland Cliffs, this is really important, and I'm going to spend some time on the steel stocks once again when I do my webinar. I do this every webinar uh, coming up on Wednesday night. What are we looking at? Where would you get back in if you're out? Some of you have Cleveland Cliffs, CLF. It's trading down 36 cents and 30.73. It did make that peak D. The MACD is starting to turn down. Still not bad. The stochastics are now under 80%. So this almost is like a Roman candle, yesterday's candle. I can just tell you this, if Cleveland Cliffs trades for, I'm gonna make it for two or three hours any day in the next, up until Monday, and, and below 29, 29.50. Nope, 20, yep, 29.50. If it actually trades underneath that for a couple of hours, be careful, because the low of yesterday of 27 point, 
uh, 50 will become a target very quickly. And if that's the case, then we're looking at the steels now having somewhat of a pullback, Cleveland Cliffs, flat roll steel. I, I, I'm not sure I see it right now popping above the 34 uh, high that was yesterday, 34.04. Um, let's just keep following it, but this is in the wheelhouse of really looking great, um, and it's just a matter of a pullback. So I would, the questioner, I'm going to say take a little bit off if you haven't. Where would you get in? Here I have to wait about a week or so. Next question, oh, a couple of questions. That's both in the Den and in Tiger YouTube and on email. Same question about CLF, and I'd just say, yeah, you're using buds three, po three points on these PTUs. That's great, but in this one, I'm looking at this. It's got to hold the 20, certainly 29. Um, okay, this is, as we're about to wrap up, wow, there's still so much to do. I've got a list of things to look at. Lulu again. Uh, Lulu is, it should make a leg D. It's at 376. Um, I'll talk about the coming up. We've got a great program all day.